So I'm gonna answer the question that really you should ask any real estate you run into, because I think it's fascinating, and that is, how did you, realtor, get into real estate? I became a real estate agent in 2007 in the state of Pennsylvania, right? The way I got into real estate is I was flipping houses. Now, nowadays it's super, super common. Everybody flips houses, everybody's a builder, everybody's a developer, et cetera. Way back in 2005, maybe 2004, uh, there was no flippers. There were no TV show. I mean, there was only one TV show, and it was called Flip This House, or Flip That House. And it was on, I don't know what channel it was on, but it was really good. I can't think who it was, but I think it was in the Carolinas, and it was the only one out at that point in time. Since then, there's been you know tons of different shows and spinoffs, and, and I love them all. Um, but that was the, and this is even before DVR. Like you couldn't even record the show. You had to be in front of the TV set at that day, at that time, on that channel. So I remember watching that and I have been kind of unsuccessful in finding my path, so to speak. And I, and I am not hands-on at all. Like I didn't grow up tearing apart fishing boats or anything like that. Um, neither were my parents, obviously. So we didn't grow up like that. So we thought it was a pretty uh, extreme jump. So I uh, grabbed a hammer, roll a duct tape, bought a house, put it back together. It was a little more interesting than that. So um, I, I bought an FHA foreclosure. Foreclosures were back in the early 2000s, I would say. And it came with a home inspection. So I was already trying to pinch pennies, right? Um, it came with a home inspection, so I already knew. I figured I could save $300 on the um, inspection. I already knew what the problems were. I ended up buying it for $40,000. I personally put $20,000 in myself. So I was in it for $60,000. Uh, at this point in time, I was not an agent. Um, and then I sold it for 80000 So I made 20000 That was back in the early 2000s. And I was like, oh my God, that's as much as I made in my previous job in a whole year. So this is what I want to do, right? Um, and it grew over time. Uh, I did maybe one or two houses a year. Uh, the first one I didn't live in, but moving forward, I pretty much lived in them because I needed a place to live anywhere. I knew it was going to take me a year trying to beat the capital gains tax of two years. Um, so I would buy them, get them sort of habitable. So I wouldn't get them so they were like a point where they had carpet and everything else ready to go. I got them so they just had heat and electricity and then I would move in and I lived very simplistically back then. Uh, coffee pot, uh, a loaf of bread, jar of peanut butter and a jar of jelly. And my dad would come over and we would, we would put the house back together. Primarily did all um, cosmetic stuff. I mean, even to the very end, I only flipped five to seven houses in a two or three year span. Um, and we only did cosmetics. So we did some light plumbing and some electric. I would go to the Home Depot. They would have classes on how to tile and all this. And again, this is back before stuff was on the internet, 32,000s. I had to buy a book that showed you how to ceramic tile. Bought the tools, saved myself a ton of money there because tiling's really easy. You'd really be surprised how easy everything is if you have the proper tools and the proper education. So uh, really putting a kitchen in was no big deal. Uh, installing cabinets, that's not hard. Installing flooring, that's not hard. We let the plumbers and electricians do the heavy stuff. We used to do um, install dishwashers and garbage disposals and stuff like that. That's kind of the heaviest we got. We wouldn't do HVAC. We don't do uh, roofs or anything like that, but drywall, paint, no carpet either. That was a uh, rough job, looked like a rough job. So anyway, fast forward, I did a couple of those houses and I thought to myself, hmm, if I had my real estate license, I'd be able, because I saw I had to use an agent. I saw they were making money and then they were making, when I bought it, when I bought it, and they were making money, I sold it. So I'm like, hmm, I should probably get my license. And uh, I guess it's entrepreneurial spirit. And then I'd be able to save myself a bunch of money. Got my license. Uh, the, the market was going completely in the crapper in 2007. But, you know, when you're a new agent, you don't know any different anyway. The market's in the crapper for you anyway. I mean, it's not great. You don't get your license and there's just tons of deals. So to me, I didn't notice any difference. So um, the first four years, I really don't, I don't think I sold any houses, maybe one or two. Um, and they were my own flips. And I may have sold one or two on top of that. But eventually, Things started turning around. The market, I guess maybe the market started turning around. Zillow came out and we started getting leads that way. You could buy leads back then and um, you would get, it would be, be a bonanza. Like you'd have great leads, but now it's so watered down. It's ridiculous. So I ended up getting my license. Uh, the market started getting better. I started making some uh, buyer transactions. I would, I had a mentor, Mark Hanovich. I would work his open houses and leads he didn't want. I would go flyer the neighborhood. Um, it was crazy what I used to do back then. I think about it. 
Whew, come on a long way. But, um, and then um, I started getting some sales. And once you start getting some sales, you gotta keep it going. You gotta keep that grind going. And then before I know it, I had a bunch of buyers. And then buyers a couple of years later were turning a bunch of sellers. Um, and then you have some dual agency and then the business just grew. And then it, it started taking off for me as a real estate agent because I really embraced Zillow, Zillow reviews. Um, then uh, video started coming on and much later, social media. I mean, social media is probably the biggest avenue now, but back then it didn't even exist. I mean, Facebook may have just been out and it wasn't really a big platform. People were just starting to get accounts. So uh, we don't even consider that anything. And then um, I realized that, hey, you know what? I'm too busy as a realtor to buy a house and take a year to, f to finish it. So I eventually got the couple hundred thousand dollars worth of tools, stuck them in my parents' garage, and some of them still sit there um, today. But I um, you know, made the decision to become a professional career realtor. I got coaching from the Tom Ferry organization. Katie Lance is my social media coach. I go to conferences, conventions, webinars, all of that stuff to further myself um, and provide a better service for my clients. And that's how I got into real estate flipping. And that's kind of a long story. So if you are a realtor, uh, please comment below on how you got into real estate. And if you're not, and you're thinking about getting good, I'd love to hear how you got into real estate. And again, if you run into a realtor, you're having a general conversation and you have a realtor, ask them how they got in. I mean, I think it's a fascinating question and it's always an awesome answer. A lot of teachers, retired teachers and stuff like that because teachers are off in the summer. So I think they tended to gravitate towards real estate as well. So I'm Brian Tessier. <clears throat> this is Road to Close. Quick hacks. I hope you enjoyed it.